Well, good evening and welcome to Ren and Friends Psychic Talk Radio. I would say welcome back to the show. I've been a little bit in hiatus for about uh, a week, maybe. Uh, I had carpet installed, a full carpet installed into my house. However, if I could pick up this laptop and show you what happened, it didn't happen. Oh my gosh, if I could get started with that, I would take another two hours just to express that, you know, I'm trying to take the high road, peace, love, and harmony, and not try to, well, be mean. <laughs> but anyhow, I'm living through plastic bins. Uh, my house is all packed up, uh, hence that's why now you now see the fancy crystal back there. Uh, I'm getting redecorated but uh, the carpet company who will remain nameless but will be uh, referred to as the second movie in the original trilogies of Star Wars yeah you got it ESB the E part yeah don't use that company ever again uh -uh, don't do it don't save your soul don't use that company anyway that was my public service announcement for today and back to the show (laughs) Dave, quick shout out to Dave, my producer. A shout out to Shelby in the chat room. She's monitoring chats. A shout out to our number one listener, my mother, who is probably in in NJ. And I'm looking at Skype. And I, okay, somebody must be drinking a pint about now because she's not on the air tonight or on Skype. So uh, happy 4th of July to everybody here in the United States. And of course, have let's say who won the football was it England happy England <laughs> anyway sort of following that oh goodness let's see we have events boy do we have events now in the fall, coming weeks you're going to see a book back there because my book the good morning has been published it is on the Amazon or Amazon.com it is also available worldwide good morning at uh, well, it's not a website, it's a book. Uh, it's a book of stories, an anthology of feel-good ghost stories, if you will. But uh, they're stories about connections to the other side and the messages from the spirit world. So when you read it at night, you go to sleep with a sense of belonging, a sense of connecting, a sense of knowing that you're not alone. But read it in the morning, <laughs> you may find yourself where the spirit world is giving you advice to get up out of bed and create an awesome day. So that book is called Good Morning, and it's co-written by Patsy Davis and myself. Hard copies will be available starting July 11th. Woohoo! But that's what you get when you do your book cover on 4th of July weekend. So <laughs> that, we got a little delayed. But uh, the book is done. Yay. Go to Amazon.com and look up uh, Good Morning. And you spell morning, by the way, M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G. You can also look it up through my name, MaryBethRen.com, as it says on the uh, characters there, or Patsy Davis. If you just Well, I think Patsy Davis is like Patsy Smith on Amazon, so it could be tons of Patsy's. So uh, I don't see too many Mary Beth Wrens out there, so type in my name. But look up. Good morning. All right, Dave. Let's see who we've got out there. A quick shout-out to, uh, of course, Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda, all the way out there in Australia. Happy Tuesday. (laughs) No, Tuesday. Okay, this is the 4th of July. Happy Thursday. No, happy Friday. (laughs) I don't know. Uh, Dave, help me out. My brain is frying. Anyway, (laughs) happy whatever. Okay. My goodness. I thought you had said that she's from Italy, and it's actually Ireland. Okay. Yeah, somebody needs new glasses. (laughs) All righty. All right, Issy, you sure you want a reading from me? Hi, Issy. Welcome to Radio I'm Friends. here. I'm Hello here. There. Happy 4th of July. Happy well, 4th thank of you. July to everybody. Yes. Oh, that's so sweet of you to say that, and thank you very much. And what You're can welcome. I do for you? Okay, I would like to um, talk about um, my love, love life, relationships. Um, I split up with my husband in October. And Sorry. just wondering, is there 
somebody nice and new uh, or old uh, coming into my life or in my life and, you know, what can you do? You ha- do you happen to know the name David yet? Is that the ex's name or is that yet to come? Uh, David. David. No, I don't know a David. Okay, keep that on the back burner. Let me look at your energy okay. field. As I look at your energy field tonight, it's a blue color. That tells me that I sense that you're going to be meeting a man through some sort of online program. So it could be like a eHarmony or a Match.com or some other website that hopefully will be more professional than, say, you know, Plenty of Fish or something like that. <laughs> anyway, I right. see okay. here is, uh, yeah, this blue aura field shows me energy of uh, writing, communicating. Uh, you, you have a way with the pen or the way with words with the pen. Um, I do. And I feel that this man is enchanted by the words you use. Your good vocabulary, uh, again, like, like writing emails, what have you. The funny thing is, I don't feel he's from Ireland. He could be from a different uh, country. I am feeling it's European-based, but I don't think it's English. Okay. Um, uh, but I feel like English would be his second language. But I wouldn't be surprised if it's... Um, I don't know why I'm going to say Turkey or Istanbul, but that, you know, I still keep getting a European feeling. Uh, I don't think it's France. I'm not feeling South. I'm feeling like if I'm looking at Ireland and I'm looking at the country of England, I want to go East. It's okay. not Northeast. I feel like I'm going East. Is that Germany? Okay. I, I have to get my geography out here. I get an app and look up Google and go, where's Germany? But uh, I'm not feeling South. I feel like I'm going East. I sense that your man has a multiple cultural, multiple languages. So I sense okay. that maybe he's fluent in German, and then um, English is the second language. I still feel like I'm supposed to say David, and I feel like that's his okay. first name. I don't feel like it's mm-hmm. Davis or Davidson. I don't sense that to be a last name. Now, I don't know if... 54 is old or young for you, but for some reason, the numbers 5 and 4 come into my mind. So I'm assuming it's an okay. age, but if it's mm-hmm. May 4th, maybe it's his birthday, uh, April 5th, if I flip the numbers around. Uh, okay. And I just got a vision, just a flash vision of a guitar, which to me would mean would indicate that he's into music or has a hobby with music. But Lovely. You can the, Sarah need me. <laughs> oh, you bet. The thing is, I'm sensing a professional musician, so he's not a starving okay. artist. That, of course, okay. that always helps. Make sure that you're manifesting a man who is financially generous as well as emotionally generous. Now, of course. I believe that his zodiacs a fire sign as in a Sagittarius. So that 4-5, I feel like it's an H. It's 45 or 54. Um, mm-hmm. Let's see here. Can I ask you, have you ever worked in the medical field at one time in your life? The medical field? No. Yes, you. No. Okay. No, I haven't. I see a person around you It feels like yeah. she is a, a, aware of him. So, like, if you meet him, like, um, I'm going to just say Match.com. So, let's say you meet him online. And then you meet his sister, and she's a nurse. But I'm seeing a person in the medical field connected to your love life. But I feel like it's a sister-in-law or a, f- a sister of your boyfriend. Mm. Okay. The feeling is it... it it feels like it's a good connection. You'll have good friendship. I don't. I'm not picking up. It's um, jealousy. Not at all. Uh, it just feels a good feeling. Now, I'm telling you about your future because mm-hmm. if you're going to ask me if you're going to get back together with an ex, no. Uh, will you be getting 
back together with a um, person you just separated? No, I'm not feeling that. This man is completely new. Okay, here it comes again. I'm still feeling medical field. So I wonder if that's wellness, preventative medicine, wellness. Can I ask you, Issy, what do you do for a living? I'm, I work in adult education. Is there any sort of wellness classes, healthy eating classes? Hmm. Um, well, not exactly where I am, but I would be into all that myself, personal development. and. If there are classes that are offered, and maybe at the same school you teach at, uh, take them. I don't know. <laughs> I know it seems so okay. random. But I think mm-hmm. it's going to increase your social life. It may be uh, the, the, the very reason why you and this guy online connect is that you have something in okay. common with wellness. Mm-mm. I hope and you recorded this. I got a lot of information coming in from you. So, uh, no. uh, so. Can I ask no. you about two mm-hmm. people that I have been kind of involved with? Of course. Mm-hmm. Yes. One is a person called Matt, M-A-T-T, and we've been talking online for seven months, <laughs> and there's not a budget for him to come and meet me. Who's the other guy? The other guy is an ex of many, many years ago, and his name is Bernard. I'm sorry to say, I don't feel any either one of them is going to really click. I'm feeling leave the okay. X's and X. The one who okay. you've been chatting with seven months. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I can't seem to put it in words, but I get the, I'm not. Be, okay, just be open-minded to meeting him, but don't put your eggs in one basket with this fella. I don't think he's okay. all up to what he says he is. Mm. Uh, I'll just give you uh, an example. Let's say he works, he says he works at Harrods in London, and you're like, oh, well, that's wonderful, and he turns out he's the janitor. Not that I'm saying janitors are bad, I just think he's portraying himself in a different light. Okay. Mm -mm. Just careful, okay? Just, I want you to err on the side of safety. Go. Okay. I I keep feeling this German fella. I keep feeling like I'm supposed to go east of where your country is. Ireland, Scotland, England, east, east of there. Okay. <laughs> I know it's ocean, okay. but I'm just feeling that way. All righty. And well, I, do you have a time is, frame, Mary Beth? No, no, nothing on time wise comes to mind. Other than that, those number codes of 4554 keep coming back. So I wonder if it's Mm -hmm. April, May, or April or May. But I think that's an age. Anyway. An age, because I'm 56, so he could be 54. Oh, thank God. Be nice. I mean, I'm like, God, watch. (laughs) So good, that's right in your category. Good, good. (laughs) So I was like, well, I hope you like a mold. All right, Izzy. Well, thank you so much for calling the show. And if anybody is interested in calling the Ask One Radio Network, I know the United States phone number is one 454 2751 And, of course, you can go to Ask One Radio Network and uh, find out the other phone numbers. And I'm sure my producer will tell me in just a moment, but I know that the United States is one 454 2751 I see that we have a ma okay, if I torture this name, I'm sorry. Manes? May May? Are you kidding me? Down your name. I I know you're from San Francisco, but I'm from the South. Okay, so don't blame me on this one. But your name looks like the way we say mayonnaise. So don't blame me on that. You can call me Milton Bradley, because I'm M B. But uh when I'm looking at your name here. <laughs> May Nas. May, May Nas. Hi, welcome to the show. 
Hello. Hi, how are you? Happy 4th of July. Yes, and you? Thank you. What can I do for you this evening? Well, let me see if I've got my speaker phone up first because this phone of mine is old and it doesn't work unless I have it on. So can you hear me okay? I can hear you loud and clear. You're doing just fine. Oh, that's good. Um, I called it to ask about my career. Okay. I am currently not working, and I do have an orientation for a job on Friday. But I, you know, and I probably will work it, but I just wanted to see what you see for my future as far as that's concerned. Communications, library sciences, anything that has to do with promotions and advertising and public speaking and networking. The energy field that's coming up around you says to me, uh, you sell a service, not a product, and it's also telling me that teaching, education, school is in your future. Now, if this is a job, say, like Chipotle, of course, take the job, you know, but it's a job, J-O-B, just over broke, <laughs> okay? <laughs> but uh, I don't feel like it's your calling job. You, what you're, you're, I feel like what you're being pulled to is I sense this word marketing, advertising, and promotions. Now, this could be social media marketing. Uh, but uh, do you have a degree in this? Do, why, why am I seeing school? Are you close to, let's see, San Francisco? What is a, a university school over there? I know, think of US, UCLA, but that's down in LA. So. Okay, I'm seeing you getting a job, but I just get the impression it's a job. It doesn't feel like it's the wow job, the it job. Is this Friday job just a a job, like a temporary job or a contractual job? That's what it feels oh, like to me. It's a job uh, that I've been looking and I've been looking and I need to be back to work. Mm-hmm. Answers. But if this I makes don't have any okay. far. And that, by the way, I'm from Michigan. I'm not from California. Okay. So the the energy. T <laughs> I use California because it says your name, and then it says in California, so uh, or in San San Francisco. The thing is, I keep feeling like I'm seeing a university. I feel like um, you're supposed to be on campus working around schools, on campus, a job that has to do with educating, but it also has a job with marketing that school. So I'm going to say part public relations, advertising, marketing, uh, social media. I hope you have a degree in this, but uh, I'm feeling marketing as a, a well-paid career for you in the future. Now, I just... I, I just got a, a vision about a dog and I don't know what this means um, if I read into it I could say the dog is like you're doing pet rescue or something like this I'm not sure why I'm seeing a, a dog unless you've got a dog right next to you or what that is uh, I don't know if it's public relations to uh, no kill animal rescues but what I can tell you is I do see you getting this job, but it feels like to me it's contractual or temporary. Temporary, yeah. Temporarily. And I keep getting the universities. Okay. There's a lot of education there. So look to the jobs that are on campus or that have something to do with higher learning and education. Because that's that seems to me the long term, the, the career calling, the path you're on. Education. Yellow. Okay. That's okay. what I get there. That's you. one I've not thought of, but mm -hmm. I will keep. Yeah, yes, I will keep what you said in mind. Uh, yeah. So at least I will be working, right, and bringing in the income because I do not like being on an unemployment. Tell me, I just really don't like. It. I'm, that's why I'm taking the job because I've been searching. Uh, I don't know how well I'll do at it. I've done sort of this type of work before, but um, 
I just wanted to know what you spent, what you seen and you did see uh, around the university. Um, that's interesting. I want you to be open-minded to it. Well, then, can I ask you, what is your background? What's your focus degree? I mean, I'm not going to change my mind after you tell me that. Tell me what you uh, are. No, I. Want I, you I, to. I have an I have an associate degree, but it's only in general studies. And when I was in college, which was a community college, you know, I just went all over the place. I never could really decide what I wanted to do. I found out what I didn't want to do, but not what I really wanted to do, I guess is what I'm trying to tell you. I had lots okay. of nursing and secretarial courses and what have you, but, uh, you know, nothing that you... ever gave me a wow factor as far as a job is concerned. <laughs> and that's where I, I leave it. I don't know if that helps you or, or not, no. but that's where I'm at. I'm going to stick with as the school. Job. I see a calling job connected to people who are very smart, highly intellectual, incredibly eclectic, people who love to use their minds a lot, who are definitely not drawn within the box. These people draw outside the box, they reinvent the words, language, you name it. I feel that you just, your soul desires an artistic flair. That is why I sense that publishing, promotions, advertising, some kind of vehicle that talks about communicating. But I also see this to be with the education systems. I don't feel like it's education as general ed or something to do state run. I'm feeling it as a, a college, private school, but you've got to be around artistic people. Your energy screams eclectic. And usually people who can't, who are like all over the map when it comes to jobs are very intellectual, but they're also very, what am I saying, free-spirited, artistic. So uh, like an actor who has many jobs, you may find yourself in different, different roles, different jobs, because you, you have a desire to express oneself. Now, you know, I... You know, the old spaghetti test. Throw it to the wall, see if it sticks. But you might want to throw it in and try acting. It doesn't matter if you're a method actor or whatever. But just give it a shot because you have, and you, you have an incredible, eclectic energy. In other words, you get bored fast in a four, uh, four rooms. What does that say? Four walls and a roof. You just get bored fast. So you're very artistic. Does that make sense okay. to you? It makes sense to me somewhat um, because of the last job I held where um, I did get a up and wear many hats that entailed um, a little bit of warehouse, a little bit of shipping and receiving, but when I had to sit and do the paperwork mm -hmm. at the desk for like two and three, four hours, so yeah, I, can, I know what you mean about the boredom of the four walls type thing. I would have rather been standing up, but... To enter the information onto the computer, I had to be sitting down. It was extremely boring. Okay. I know. But you know what? You have an artistic streak. I really hope you do find the job of your dreams. And I thank you so much for listening in for the Ask One Radio Network. And everyone else, thank you for listening to Ren and Friends Psychic Talk Radio. I'm Mary Beth Ren, your hostess for Ren and Friends Psychic Talk Radio. You can always call me at www.marybethren.com. I will see you next week. And remember, reality is what you make it. Make sure you make it the very best.